fun fact, I drank some alcohol before this. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Beth Casey, and you're watching this because well, I want to work for you. Now, I'm not going to say something really schmoozy like, oh yeah, my um, family is from Brookline, or my dad went to Harvard, because, well, let's be honest, that's kind of a lame way to get a job. Also, it's not true. If you hire me, I want it to be because of my academic merit. 3.5 GPA. <laughs> my work experience. And you know, like maybe a personal bias if that's your thing. I don't go to some fancy school like UCLA or NYU, but I do go to Middle Tennessee State University where we have an awesome recording industry program, which is pretty irrelevant. I major in production and I minor in writing. Hopefully one day that turns into becoming a writer for a television show or doing something impressive in broadcasting. But until then, I have to work a few jobs. Once a week I'm a DJ at WMTS, the student-run radio station here in Murfreesboro. I woke up this morning smelling like alcohol and poor decisions and I was like, well, I, must have had a good I don't like to brag, but I have a lot of listeners. There's like eight of them. I've actually been in the film industry for years now, five years to be exact. I specialize in maintenance, production, and ticket sales. How does this shift go with Beth Casey? Um, it's pretty much like you're flying in the clouds. It's one of those days. She just sweeps all hallway, lobby. She just keeps sweeping and yeah, that's pretty much it. Three words. Very endearing, I guess. She's just so talented that you just can't keep her in one spot. She has to move on to the next town and like Mary Poppins. I mean, she sweeps the floor really good. In addition to being a very well-known name in the film industry, I'm also a tutor at my school's university writing center. At the University Writing Center, we don't just teach students grammar and organization. We teach them a beautiful new form of expression. One of the things that we value here is making people feel like they're part of the community, and Beth absolutely does that. She makes students feel right at home, and um, from what I see, she gets along with everyone in the Writing Center really well, and um, she, just, she approaches her job with a lot of thoughtfulness and, um, and does a great job in tutoring sessions. Do you think it would be rhetorically appropriate to respond with slang or to try to be more formal? You're not a thinker, are you? I'm not sending you this just because I hope to be a broadcaster one day. I know that I'm going to work in broadcasting. Amateur as this may be right now, that's why I'm in college. And that's why I want to work on your show. So now it's your turn to make a call. Is my name going to be in your credits first? Or Jimmy Fallon's. I think that's pretty good footage right there. <laughs>